To consistently realize good outcomes from your actions, feedback is key. Feedback takes the outcome of your actions and incorporates it into your decision making about next actions, literally feeding outcomes back into the decisions and allowing for improvement. The further removed we are from the real world effects of our actions, the less able we are to improve our actions. When you spend $100, how much goes to the producer? $50? 50 cents? Under what labor, human rights, and environmental health conditions was the product produced? What resources went into production? We are neither feeling the pain of our poor decisions nor the pleasure of our great decisions. Without these signals, we have little to help us refrain from relatively bad actions and often don't have enough incentive for relatively good actions. One clear indication of the power of feedback is in the plan, do, check, act cycle for continuous improvement that revolutionized business in the late 20th century. Plan to take some action. Do take the action. Check, evaluate what you did. And act, use evaluation to take better action. The feedback of the check stage maintains the integrity of the cycle. How lack of feedback manifests in our organizations and world. First, money and politics. Let's go back to climate. If the scientists were in charge, we would have taken drastic action 20 years ago. The federal politicians in charge could have listened to scientists, but instead listened to messages and contributions from anti-climate action vested interests. The role of funding is critical in its ability to magnify voices and messages that are contrary to our best understanding of the truth. Funding to politicians can come as direct donations, indirect donations to super PACs that then donate to politicians, or payments to lobbyists. Elected officials, in orienting themselves toward this wealth, also called dark money, become misaligned with the wants and needs of the public. Supreme Court's ruling in the Citizens United case ranks as one of the worst missteps in the history of the Republic. This is a huge driver toward anti-establishment sentiment and general distrust of politicians. Add issue is to what extent donations actually represent real feedback. Vested powers will advocate for the status quo, meaning we get more of what's not working. We also get more of what is working, but until the business models involved have generated enough wealth, we are less likely to get dark money working in our favor. The time for change is now. Either we mend our broken system, or we suffer the consequences of catastrophic failure. And, ultimately, it would still not represent real feedback from the citizenry, which is ultimately what drives a real democracy.